Centuries ago, in the mountain village of Benin, a young woman ascended the throne after her father died on the battlefield. She was strong, brave, and intelligent. Battle after battle, she led her people to victory. Queen Yeba was a charismatic woman. She was respected by her warriors for her strength and loved by her people for her great sense of humanity. During her reign, she did something no other king has done before. She managed to bring back a long-lasting peace in the region forever. She had three sons, and she made all of them promise that they would give her name, Yeba, to their first daughter, so that like her, they would never forget that they were born to accomplish their own destiny. And since then, the tradition continues. My father told me this story so many times when I was a child that it still resonates in me in a very special way. Imagine for the little child I was, I had received something more powerful than a dream, the belief that I could achieve anything I put my heart into. So, fashion has always been my passion, as far as I can remember. I actually opened the first fashion magazine when I was five, and since then, my interest never stopped growing. And at the age of 14, it was obvious I would create my own fashion and luxury brand. But you know how it is. Gradually and slowly, I lost track of all this magic in me, I mean, all this dream, because every adult around me would make it clear life was not a playground, and we had to take it really seriously. So I focused on getting the best education possible. I graduated from the best business school of Belgium. I started a career as a financial auditor, then moved to management consulting, then to marketing consulting. I have, during more than 10 years, I had built a career I could be really proud of. But I don't know, deep inside, I felt incomplete and unsatisfied. And I couldn't do it anymore. It happened that day, a day like every other day. I was at the office in this huge, white, modern open space. I was sitting there, looking at my laptop. There were a lot of consultants around me. They were working, phoning, discussing, running, like their life depended on it. And I was there, silent, looking at my laptop and this Excel sheet I need to finish. And I suddenly asked myself, is this going to be my life? I mean, forever? A life with no purpose, no passion? And suddenly, I heard this voice inside of me, my creative voice. It told me, Yeba, have you forgotten about our dream? And I didn't think twice. I quit everything to pursue my dream. So I wanted to have my own fashion brand. That was the dream. All I needed was an idea. And I had one. I was obsessed with one. I wanted to create the most elegant, chic business bag ever seen for women. And actually, the more I was thinking about it, because it was so difficult to find a bag where you could put your laptop, your document, and stay elegant and chic, but what makes it even more exciting was the fact that I would create my own brand a brand where I could put all the values embedded in my name and share them to inspire women that today we can achieve anything and that there are no limits to what we can do. But don't you think launching this brand was easy? It was so difficult. I mean, extremely challenging. But all these challenges taught me three lessons that I'd like to share with all of you. The first lesson is about fear. Imagine, 
When I started this project, I knew nothing about design. Leather, manufacture, craftsmanship. I never attended a fashion design school. I didn't, I didn't even work in this industry. I had no contacts, no network. I was starting from scratch. And worse, I was scared to death. I mean, scared to fail. What if I started? It was my dream, but what if in reality I was not able to do it? And what if everyone would see that I was a total fraud? And worse, I was about to spend all my savings into something I had no idea it would work because it was impossible on paper. And all people who cared about me, when they were looking at me, I could see that they were scared for me, that I was hiding out of my mind or doing the biggest mistake of my life. But you know what? I let go with fear. I knew that I had to try. So I grabbed the pen and I started drawing, drawing, and slowly I found my own signature and style. So led me to realize that beyond your, your real fears, your biggest fear, lies your true potential. The second lesson I would like to share with you is about perseverance. They always say that things never worked according to your initial plan. It's absolutely true. Nothing, absolutely nothing worked like it was supposed to. Let me give you a few examples, just about making the bags, the leather bags. I worked with three different designers. None of them came with nice solutions. Then I worked with five different manufacturers. All of them cheated me. The first did... <laughs> the, yeah, my heart almost broke. So the second one took my money. The third one was an old guy. Everyone told me, yeah, but this guy is so talented. He's a bit crazy, but you have to go for it. So I went for it, but he called me that just to tell me, I tried, but I, I'm bored. The fourth one disappeared somewhere in Morocco. So it was not working in Belgium. So I decided I would go to Italy. I managed to find a manufacturer who actually did the leather bags. But you know what happened? The day I was about to show my first samples to my future customers, I was desperate. They called me to say, we will not produce your collection. We found more interesting customers. So I had to smile that day, but deep inside, I was broken. But I decided to continue. I refused to quit. I kept going and telling myself, this is really what I want to do. And I will always find ways. And today I realized that all these failures and obstacles were necessary. You need to be First, limited in order to become limitless and deeply challenged in order to realize your real potential and actually achieve the impossible. The third lesson is about sharing or having and sharing a vision. It came to my mind that maybe I was so focused on getting results that I had even forgotten 
about the real purpose of my project. What I wanted was to create a brand where I could inspire people to have for myself a platform where I, I could express myself. And I did change my mind and think, took things from a totally different perspective. I realized that it was key for me to share with people my vision and my passion. And when I did, I realized that once they feel connected, they will do anything to make things happen. I managed to find a new manufacturer, went back to Italy, and this one sent me the best bag ever. And I was really happy because I was lucky to have a great team of um, professionals who gave a face to my brand. I sent the brand presentation to a director in one of the biggest international fair in Paris I wanted to attend, he called me to my big surprise to say, I really want to help you achieve your dream. So uh, what if you had only to connect to people? When people feel connected to your vision and believe in you and your purpose, they will join you in achieving the impossible. So this journey, was not only about me designing a bag, it was about me finding myself along the way and designing my life. I'm deeply convinced that we all have that thing. May it be an interest, a passion, a dream. It's your job to find out what it is and to do it. I still have a lot of struggles and challenges, but I feel in me, the spirit of Queen Yeba saying, the world is my kingdom. I have the soul of a warrior, the heart of a believer. I am born to follow my destiny. I open doors. I am Yeba. And you, who are you? Thank you. <laughs>